Well, good morning, right. everyone, and welcome to the Saturday morning training webinar. Uh, we're Steve and Joyce Holthouse, and we are your hosts this morning, and it's always an honor and a privilege for us to share um, what Relive, not only what Relive has done for us and our family, but um, but also just to share with people kind of what we've done and what we're doing, um, what we're doing today. And so we're excited to be here with you this morning. I'm going to start off and just kind of share our story. We'll just share kind of a brief version of our story. And then, um, and then Steve will get started with the training. And um, yeah, we're excited to be here. But Anyway, 20, almost 24 years ago now, we were introduced to Relive through a really good friend of mine, and she knew our situation. Her and I were in a women's Bible study together, and every week, my prayer request was about our finances. Um, we owned a small business that wasn't doing well, and it was, um, it was really a hard time. We had two young kids at home. Um, our son was almost seven. Our daughter was 11. And we were we were really struggling. I was panicking every time I had to buy groceries. And when she shared with me that she'd gotten these great results with digestive problems on the products and people were building businesses around them, I basically politely thanked her and walked away. I had no interest in nutrition. I believed and had been taught by a nutritionist back then that if you ate healthy, you didn't need to supplement. Of course, we all know better now. And also, I thought the business was about sales, and my background is computers and accounting. But when I came home and told Steve what she had said, he said, you know, I think we should sit down with her. And that's what we did. He started using the products first as a retail customer. And, you know, within the first couple of weeks after making some adjustments to his product usage, Steve was seeing more energy. He was not craving the coffee and the junk food. He was handling stress better. And we decided to go to an event that was nearby, uh, well, nearby, it was about an hour away, um, to learn more. And it was the stories that we heard that night that really impacted us. Um, we decided that night that we wanted to get the whole family going on the product. That's really where I learned it was safe enough for the kids to start on it. And we came in at the 25% profit level and got not only our family, but we got a bunch of other people started on the product to where two weeks later we were purchasing the rest that we needed to be at the highest profit level called Master Affiliate. But you know what? Our families had wonderful results. Our, our son was dealing with attention deficit disorder at that time, and um, I did not want him labeled. He was getting ready to start first grade. Didn't want him labeled in the school system or put on medication if there was a better way. And he never went on medication, never got that ADD label. He graduated high school in the top 20% of his class. You know, in those first couple of months, as he was staying on task and he stopped getting out of control with his emotions, um, it, I knew we were on to something, you know. And today, our son, he and his family actually just moved a few weeks ago down to North Carolina, and they are, um, he accepted a position there as director of production, and he's also a worship leader at a large church, and um, as sad as that is for us that they moved away, it's also exciting for us because it's a great opportunity for them, and it gives us a fun place to go visit for sure. Um, but I love, you know, my son is still on these products today. His kids are on them. I shared with some people before the call, our, two of our grandkids, the one that is just about seven and one that's just about five, they're doing their first little Spartan race today. And health and fitness is something that we passed on to our son, and he's passing that on to his kids. Um, our daughter got great results with allergies and eczema and chronic bronchitis. She used Relive as her prenatal. And same thing, she's got two girls, and they use the products. And, you know, I think the biggest testimony is that my kids still use these products today because they know what they've done for them. You know, I would have told you I was perfectly healthy, but I was dealing with depression, and I was uh, dealing with periodontal disease and low iron issues. I have a skin allergy to the sun. Um, but I was healthy in my mind, 
um, got on these products, and none of those issues are issues. I've totally gone through menopause using the Relive, never used hormone replacement. My doctor is thrilled every year with my blood work. With the Fit3, I'm down 18 pounds, and I don't know how many sizes, but I'm fitting into pants that I had as gold pants, and now they're baggy, so I'm happy about that. And I just feel at 63, um, and Steve 65, we take no medications, and we're the healthiest and in the best shape that we've ever been and love being able to pass that on to others. And Steve has always said that that's one of our best results is what's happened in the business, and I'll let you share that part, Steve. Uh, that that was our best result um, because that's why we took a look at Relive. Um, I, you know, with my diet the way it was, with the coffee, the junk food, the fast food that I consumed, and um, it, it I, I wasn't, you know, looking for a nutritional product or taking one wasn't even on the radar. But – we did need something to do uh, financially. We were on the verge of bankruptcy, and it wasn't because we were lazy. We worked harder than we ever worked in our lives, and, you know, these products helped me with my depression and gave me the energy and, and that. And, uh, you know, we just uh, applied the, the, the basic things we're going to talk about here today and did them consistently and um, didn't quit. You know, and just uh, put blinders on and just, just kept moving forward in that. And uh, we believed in the people that said, hey, if you do this, this will happen in, in that. And and it did. Our first month, you know, not knowing anything about this and uh, definitely not knowing anything about nutrition, we earned a little over $500, and that was strictly in retail profits. And what that meant to me was that, you know what, it was hope again, Uh you know, maybe we weren't going to lose the house. Uh, the kids will be able to have a, a go to school as they want, and you know, have have the things that just normal people have every day in that. So we just kept moving forward, and the second month, uh, wholesale profits opened up. What happened is, uh, some of those retail customers became distributors. They heard some stories. They liked what they heard. They were seeing results with the product, and they started thinking of other people that they wanted to share this with, and. Uh, that month we made a little over $800. And, you know, it wasn't all a, a, a rosy picture. Uh, we had ups and downs. We had challenges. There were times that I wanted to quit. There were times that Joyce wanted to quit. We argued sometimes. and But we worked everything out because we were committed to making this work. And uh, our first full year, we were still doing it part-time. Uh, the business I had, I was, I was trying to sell it to get something from it, um, and that, uh, which we never did. I sold some of the, the equipment and the truck and things like that. But um, that first year doing this part-time, 20, 25 hours a week in the beginning, we made a little over $30,000 in just the first four forms of income. Um, in 95, uh, we started doing this full-time, March of 95. Uh, that year, our income was over, over 90000 and uh, in 96, that's the year we became ambassadors with the company. Uh, that fifth form of income kicked in. We started to earn. We were in the six-figure range uh, then. And 1997, the following year, we became presidential directors. And uh, and that's where your royalty uh, override income is over $8,000 a month. Now, pretty much every year since 1996, we've earned some form of a six-figure yearly income. There are a few years that dip below that, but uh, it's it's – it's done well for us. Um, it, it's rewarded us tremendously. We've enjoyed a lot of trips with Relive. Uh, in fact, there's a group right now that are in Cancun uh, enjoying um, uh, the, the sun and the fun and just the Relive company and, and that. Uh, those trips are tremendous. Uh, we've Joyce and I have been on a lot of those. Uh, we have um, earned a lot of bonus money, uh, um, extra income, um, uh, just for doing what we do every day. And then, of course, um, we're doing something today. We've been doing this for over 23 years, and we're not tired of it. Uh, we still get a lot out of it. And, and I'm not talking about the money in that. I'm talking about uh, a value, a sense of purpose that you're still valued. Uh, so many people work so hard all their lives, and they end up retiring and think everything is going to be great, and only to find in a few short months they they feel you know, worthless. They, they, they don't have any sense of purpose. In that, uh, and that's what Relive gives us because we are able to uh, impact people's lives in a lot of different ways, really, because this is about building relationships, building friendships, and that can go everywhere in that, too. So 
that's uh, that's our story. And um, what we're going to do is we are just going to talk about the basics of, of how to do this business. Now, I want to start out by saying um, we have several different lines uh, on the phone here, I'm sure. Anything you hear that isn't consistent with what your upline is teaching, I always uh, refer people back to their upline. You, you want to work in unity if you can in, in that too. But again, these are the basics. These are the company basic slides. And and uh, this this is the basics that we did. Um, you got your fundamental steps that I'm going to talk about. And then um, Joyce is going to talk about uh, um, the, every, the system that you use to build your business in that. And this is where it might differ a little bit from uh, lines to lines in, in that. And that's okay. But you're going to have your daily activity stuff and you're going to have your, your corporate support in that. But the key thing to know, to remember about this this slide and, and everything about Relive, it's about new people. Your business is all about adding new people to it, no matter how long you've been involved. If you want your business to grow, it's not about managing and trying to get uh, uh, existing distributors to do more and, and that. You're going to support them and all of that, but it is not about management. And, and we learned that. We learned that lesson. We fell into that trap for a period of time, and our business stalled, and it decreased in, in that, too. So it's talking about talking with new people, adding new people into Relive wherever their need is. Now, another thing that's very, very important in Relive, it's taking action. Um, you can't talk to new people without taking some form of action anyways, but... Um, some people get involved and, in, in, you know, they're, they're really excited uh, before they sign the distributorship uh, application and that. And, uh, you know, they're thinking of all sorts of people they can invite into this and, and that. And when they become distributors, their mind starts clogging up on them. Their mind starts popping up and saying, you know, no, not that person. They, they think you're, you're a fool for doing something like this. Or, no, they wouldn't. They, they, they're already successful in, in that um so you know you you want to take action. Don't don't let your mind talk you out of something. Um, I heard a talk uh, about this gal. It's got a uh, it's Mel Robbins is her name. Don't know much about her really, but um, the forty minute little talk I, I heard her give uh, was uh, about a book she wrote, Five Second Rule. And basically, I, I'm not going to go into a whole bunch of detail. I didn't read the book or anything like that, but it made sense because basically it is you know what? Don't think a lot about something take action give yourself five seconds start from the top go five four three two one boom do it you know she used an example of uh, uh they their life was such that it's very successful things happened uh things were hard uh, financial pressures all of that depression was setting in and and she would just not want to get up and all of a sudden it came to her to do this five second thing and uh she give herself five seconds, count down, and hop out of bed and start getting into life. And she found that, you know what, life is a lot easier. Life is a lot better. And you'll find that too. So uh, don't think a lot about it. Just take action. All right? Now I'm going to start talking about these fundamentals. The first one is identify. What we're talking about here is uh, something that every type of business, I don't care if it's direct sales or if it's it's a, a conventional sales business or whatever it is, you know, every business is about identifying your market and talking to your market. And there's different ways that you can do that. Okay. What we do in direct sales and uh, uh, which is very, very effective, but I think very little time is spent on this, this part of it. It's at making a list. Um, now here it says a uh, list of 10 product prospects and 10 business prospects. Uh, if you limit your list to that, you'll probably be in business for about one or two days in, in that, uh, um, because you do get no's in this business, and you're going to hear some no's. And uh, a lot of times, if your list is real small, you get some no's, you're like, whoa, I don't have many people to talk to here. This isn't going to work for me. So it's real important to um, work on your list and make it as extensive. Now, know that your list is not a finite thing. It, it goes on to infinity because you're always meeting new people. And as you build your business, your, your uh, wall of belief grows, your strength grows, and some of these people that your mind subconsciously have blocked from you, 
they come to come to uh, come to your mind, come to the forefront of your mind, and that. So you're always adding new people to to your list, and, and that. So it's a growing list. And you know, some people will tell you once you talk to somebody, they say no, cross them off. I, you know, I don't believe in that. I believe things change for people. And um, I was told uh, first time I heard about Relive, I said no. But uh, six months later. Uh, Joyce's friend approached us, and you know what? The pain was greater, and uh, for some reason, and you know, I it just I listened to her. So I never cross anybody off. I am respectful. If they say, "Hey, look, I don't want to hear about it and all that," I'll ask. Well, do you mind if I get in touch with you in a in a couple of months, kind of update you on what I'm doing? And and you know, they're usually just so happy that you're not going to talk to them. They say, "Sure, that's fine. Call me in a couple of months and tell me what you're doing." In that too, so you, it's it's uh, on a circular plane. You 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 know you you talk to people, you don't cross them off, and all that. So now, what I like to do is use uh, the book that Relive came out with, uh, Get Started with Ixar, uh, and it's just an acronym for Identify, Connect, Share, Ask, and um, uh, Ask for the Decision. And R is well, I forgot what R is. Register, thank you. My coach from the other room just helped me out there. In that. <laughs> but um, no matter how long you do this business, you know what? You're going to mess up every once in a while, and, and that's okay because we're just people in that. But anyways, in this book, uh, it just walks you through and helps you to uh, make that list. And, and keep in mind, you don't want to prejudge. Just put the name down because that's all your task is right now is adding as many names as you can. If you got their phone numbers right then, great. If not, don't worry about it uh, in that. So, um, you know, in, in this book, it gives you five reasons to build your, your list, and, and you want to do it with your sponsor, okay? So as a distributor, you want to do this with your new distributor. It's going to help them get through some of those hurdles that they'll automatically put into their brain. Um, and uh, their list going from 200 would go down to about 20 in that too. So uh, it's it's a great tool to help them get started. And then you turn the page. They uh, uh, give you a page where you can list groups. You know, choose a group, uh, whether it's families, whether it's neighbors, whether it's a uh, past job, whatever it is, and start listing names under those groups uh, that you've uh, you've got there. It gives you a couple pages of doing that, um, and then to make it even more of an extensive list, they got it to other people you know, and they break it down into further uh, context. I usually have people, um, and I don't even know if they have. We haven't gotten one in a year or so, but the yellow pages. Uh, I used to have people go through the yellow pages because in the yellow pages they have this stuff broken out: accounting, um, um, advertising. Uh, builders, butchers, whatever, you know, they have all these little categories broken out. And you can start thinking, who do I know that's an accountant? Who do I know that works in a bank? Who do I know that's a builder? And, uh, you know, you go ahead and, and, you know, go ahead and put those down on a piece of paper. It's important to write these people down on a piece of paper. So you're going to have people to talk to. And the more people you have, and I've I've read books to where they say by the time you're 21, you know a thousand people or, or 2,500 people. One book has said, um, you know how many names you, you want to get as many as you can. Okay, knowing that this is going to be an ongoing exercise that you'll continue to add people to it, and the more comfortable you get, and the more your wallet belief grows in you and in 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 Relive and in the products and that it's going to be easier to be putting names down in that. Um, all right, let's see. Did I forget any things here? Um, but this business, really, it's, it's all about talking to people and talking to new people. And, and that can be the fun part, too. I know it's scary at first, but after you get comfortable, getting to know people is really – and that's how you go about doing it. You don't just say, hey, you know, I, I, I um, uh, your cousin or whatever uh, – uh, Want you to get on relive and in that no you 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 build relationships you further relationships you you develop that and uh, that's what makes it really exciting. All right, now we've made our list. What we need to do is remember it's about taking action. So we need to connect with the people that we've 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 written down. So I would suggest you take um, twenty people, thirty people, or whatever, and prioritize them. 
and uh, kind of jot down a little bit of a reason why you want to call these people. Now, what I did and still do when we start somebody is I'll give them an opportunity if you want to make calls together. Now, I will not be on the phone and ambush somebody, uh, but with three-way calling, um, I'll have people, we'll make out our list, get the top 20 and the little reasons why. Um, we'll be on the phone together, and uh, we'll talk about it, spend about 30 seconds, maybe even less than that, um, and talk about why you thought about them. Okay, I suggest you say this and all of that, and then she'll click me off because I'll be there if uh, she's got the opportunity to introduce me at that point, then she'll bring me back on and introduce me, and, and I will role play the things that, she, you know, you would say in that. Um, if not, you know, and, and the call went bad, I'm going to be right there to talk them through and uh, talk them off the ledge in, in that too. So that's, that's you know, working closely with a, a new distributor in, in that too. So the main things you want to do, you don't want to say a lot at this stage, okay? This is basically about connecting with them and trying to set up a time where you'll have some uninterrupted time and talk about relives. So you want to be excited. You want to be yourself. And even if you're an introvert, you want to be yourself. Introverts doesn't mean you cannot talk to people. I'm an introvert. Joyce is an extrovert. What that means is when she's around people, she feeds on their energy. When I'm around people, I spend energy in in that. Um, and really, I, I've learned um, even though I need to step away and kind of get out of the crowd a little bit and all of that here and there, I have people skills, and I can communicate to people. And as I, if I do it my way, there's a whole group of people that I can connect with rather than Joyce because of our personalities and, and that there too. So, um, again, in the XR book, great tools to use uh, about connecting. Um, it can talk about uh, um, the reasons you want to connect with and things like that. But there's a list here too that will help you stay organized. Now, is everybody going to use paper today? No, a lot of people don't. They'll, they'll use uh, some app or, or whatever in that. But this is something that's really great to get people started to teach them, and then they can they can transfer it to their um, online device, whatever they're going to use in it. Uh, there's uh, the company tools we just talked about. Your goal here is to set an appointment. Now, I believe that if you're talking to somebody and the call's really going great, and they're like, yeah, I, I like to try it. Well, you know what? Go ahead and get them get them going on the product. Get them signed up as a distributor if that's the case. But don't put it off just because. Okay, I got to do this, this, and this. You know, you kind of kind of think on your your feet and that. Um, here are some examples of opening sentence sentence sentences that you can use. Uh, Kathy, I know your health is a priority. Hey, I'm working with a company that could really help you. When can we get together? Or, uh, hi, John. Hey, at the soccer game, you mentioned that finances are tight. Hey, you need to hear about something that, that has helped me. When can we get together? So you're, you're, you're asking that question uh, for them to commit to some time. Or I've just started in something that made me think of you. You really need to check it out. It's a chance to earn some serious money. When can we get together? Or just simply, hey, how you doing? And listen. And that's a key thing in this business is listening to people ask them a question a simple question um how are you how's it going and listen to what they have to say now these are just examples you're going to put your own personality into it in that and uh you're going to come up with your own things that you want to say but again the more you talk to people the more you take action the more comfortable you're going to be for spur of the moment like opportune moments or, or say you're you're at the soccer game and uh, you know there's John there and and you're gonna you're not gonna say to yourself well should I say something should I not you know Joyce and I have been through that um, in in that too but that's where that five second rule comes in five four three two one hi John you know at the soccer game you mentioned blah 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 so take action talk to people and you will grow and work with your upline and and from an upline on down work with your new distributors. You know, Steve, you didn't see this, but in the chat, in the webinar, someone said they loved your explanation of an introvert. So I thought you'd, uh, I thought you'd like hearing that. Thank you. <laughs> 
Well, also, just to give uh, those of you an update, and so Steve can hear this as well, I did get a text from our son, and the kids finished their race. They did it. And uh, our son sounded pretty excited about that. So, anyways, it's just a, that's just a proud grandma moment for me. So, um, thanks for thanks for hanging in there with us and listening to that because, uh, yeah, and um, my son sent over a bunch of pictures, and uh, it's so cute to see our little grandson. He's got his little Spartan headband on, and he's all muddy. And my son said that he ran the half mile with his daughter, and. Um, I love that. I told him, I said, you know, here's the thing as parents, they're setting the stage for health and fitness in their family. And, you know, Steve and I did that 24 years ago when we got started with Relive. Um, you know, we started getting good nutrition into our home. I've always been conscious and healthy and liked to work out and that. And so even though Fit3 has only been around for a few months, um, I'm excited, guys, that we get to help other families start incorporating healthy lifestyles and fitness into their families. And so, you know, not everybody's going to get that we have products that change people's lives from a health standpoint, but a lot of people are going to perk up their ears when we talk about being more fit and losing weight. So, um, you know, I think that's huge. Ryan Montgomery, we were on an ambassador call this week, and he shared some amazing statistics about the growth in the direct selling industry and direct selling sales. And the highest amount, the highest percentage of growth is in the health and wellness category, and it's being fueled by the um, obesity epidemic. That's kind of a good news, bad news thing, you know, bad news that obesity is now an epidemic in our country. But good news is that we've got something that can help people. And, and you know, we, we can work with people where they're at. We can take them along a journey that it, it's going to be faster for some and slower for others. And so I love that. You know, when it comes to sharing the Relive story, I share with people, we just actually did a little training with our group on communicating. And you know, communicating from your heart. Our business is done from the heart. You don't have to have a whole, you know, presentation memorized in your head, and it doesn't have to be perfect. You know, you share from your heart. You share your story. You share other people's stories. You share, you know, what real is meant. Don't worry about it being perfect. Don't worry about saying everything right and using all the right words um, because it's really just about communicating from the heart. But the other part about that communicating is what are you saying to yourself? You know, what's the story you're saying to yourself every day when you get up? You know, um, this I'm telling you, this Fit3 journey, it's, it's really got me looking at some things that I've been saying to myself for a long time and, and learning how to say new things, right, when it comes to my relationship with food, when it comes to my limitations on working out and what I say in my head. You know, and I'm I'm saying, I don't know if I can do this. And then I've got Angie, right, on the video saying, come on, you can do this. And so it's what am I going to choose to believe? And the same thing is true when you're sharing with people. What are they going to choose to believe? You don't have control over what they're going to believe and how they're going to respond. The only thing you have control over is that you're talking to them and that you're sharing. You know, and, and we talk about sharing the whole Relive story. You know, I really believe that when people get started in the business, they're going to be there's something that's going to drive their passion. You know, it might be their why. Why are you doing this? That might be what you share with people. You know what? I found something that's going to help us get out of the financial mess that we're in. That's what I would say to people, and it's and it's because of a product that it's amazing. The stories you you know you got to hear about this. Um, the less I thought about it, the better off I was, if that makes sense. And so, and there's so many tools that Relive has that you can use to introduce. So your goal is to, you know, you strike up that interest, right? And then it's like, okay, you know, let's, let's get on a webinar. Um, I know we have them on Monday nights at, they're at 730 Central. Um, I think you guys have them as well. You know, maybe that's going to be the, the first way they hear about it. Maybe you're going to connect them up on a three-way call to hear more. 
you know, maybe you're going to go through the opportunity. I love the new opportunity books that Relive really just came out with. You know, maybe you're going to do that. Maybe you're just going to show them a video, the Fit3 video or the Blue Man video. You know, again, those are tools in the toolbox that can help you to share the story. But the beginning of that is going to be in that kind of connect and when you're sharing. So, again, just talk from your heart, guys. Our business is not hard. Tom Moody said this a few weeks ago, and he's right. You know, training is overrated in our business. We don't need to do a lot of training. We really just need to take a lot of action. The more you do, the better you'll get and the more confident. It's not that you get – you know, it's not really that you start to learn all these different words and all of that, but your confidence grows. And when your confidence and your conviction, right, your, when your conviction is in your heart, you don't have a hard time talking. You know, and that's really true. I saw something earlier. Um, somebody posted this quote, and it's something like, if your why is big enough, the how will find it. You'll find the how. And that's so true. So I, I really don't like people to get tripped up on, you know, do I lead with the product? Do I lead with the business? Do I, you know, what do I lead with? What do I, you know what, follow your heart. Trust your gut. You know, um, don't check your common sense at the door when you're talking to people. And then, you know, grab a tool. Um, learn how to use them. You know, know how to have the videos easily accessed or how can you text it to someone or email it to someone if that's what you want, you know, if that's the tool that you're going to use. So I think it's really huge. Um, you know, and as new people get involved, it's about helping them engage. And, you know, people, some people want to engage and they're kind of excited about that and some people aren't. They want to sort of stand on the outskirts. And so find ways that you can include them. You know, um, that's that's really kind of what we do. And, and sort of respecting where they're at, but also I really want them to hear more, right? And so I, I don't stop inviting them. I, you know, I try to include them. I love with the new Fit3 teams that are going on for into the, you know, conference, the fun things you know, that I'm hearing other groups do, and, you know, we're getting together and working out. Um, we did that last Saturday. We're going to do it again this week. So there's all different ways to help people engage. Conference calls, Tom Pinnock talked about, if you heard um, the podcast from last Monday, they're going to do a monthly story call now as well that you'll be able, or a monthly, it'll be a story, well, it'll be a call and a podcast, but you'll be able to use that and have people hear the stories. We got the new Lifestyle magazine that just came out, and boy, isn't it got a great look. Steve loved that they went back to the glossy pages. Um, but there's all kinds of things that you can use and, um, and you know, share stories. I mean, that's it, it's really, really simple. Guys, our business is simple. It's not easy. I'm not going to tell you it's easy. People are going to say no. You're going to have times that you feel discouraged. Hey, Steve and I have been around for almost 24 years. We still have those times. You know, we still have those times where people that we wish – would really, we know what this could do for them, and we want it for them, and they don't, hey, they don't grab onto it. You know, you again, you don't have control over any of that, and you don't have to know it all. I love that on this slide. Free yourself up. Help people you sponsor not to feel limited. You know, help them to feel confident and to get out there right away and start sharing the Relive story, um, whatever they know of it, because People are going to hear their excitement. That's really what gets people excited. You know, they're going to hear their excitement. Think about it the last time your friend came to you and said, oh, my gosh, have you seen, you know, whatever movie? I know everybody right now is talking about Beauty and the Beast. We haven't seen it yet. We babysat for our grandkids last night so our daughter and her husband could go see it. And when they came back, they were t so excited about it and telling us all about it. And it's like, okay, you know what? Yeah, I want to go see it. I don't know anything. They were telling me about one of the guys in it they thought was so funny. I still can't can't tell you his name and I didn't know who he was and you know but but again that didn't matter it was their excitement about the movie that it's like yeah you know what I think I'll go take a look so um, again just think about that as you share the story you know and then asking for a decision 
again, this is a place where a lot of people get tripped up. I did when we were new. I'm telling you, I would just keep talking and talking and talking and never ask for a decision. So I never really knew what anybody wanted to do, right? And um, But what I've learned is that this really isn't hard. It's just kind of you've got to come to a stopping point, and you have to ask the question, and you have to be okay with whatever the answer is. Don't worry about if it's a no or if it's a I'll think about it or don't worry about any of that. The important thing is that you ask and then you wait and you wait quietly. You don't have to fill in the gap as people are thinking as, you know, and sometimes I'll say if they were on a call with me maybe or maybe they were on the webinar or we were at a an in-home or a meeting, I'll say, so what did you like about what you saw? And then I listen. You know, um, or I'll say, what, you know, with everything you heard, what interested you the most? And again, I just listen because you don't know what's going on in their mind. We had this happen with a new distributor. Um, she, we had sat down and done an appointment. A gal got going on the product. She wanted nothing to do with the business at that point. No, I, she didn't want to see the comp plan, none of that. And I always respect that. I really do. And I just said, okay. I said, you know, as you get results and stuff, you're probably going to want to take a look at that. But we can always come back to it. So she got her on a call where she heard a few different stories, health and business stories. And afterwards, the new distributor said, what did you like about what you heard? And the girl's reply was residual income. Now, that's not what she thought she was going to answer at all. Um, But you know what? That's what caught her attention. And so you never know. You never know what's going to grab somebody. And um, so just ask. Just ask the question. And then Be prepared. Do you know how to put in a product order online so they can order and put it on their credit card? Do you know how to register someone? You know, make sure you know how to do all of that. Um, I can't tell you the last time I used a paper distributor application, but we have a couple. They work with the Amish a lot, and they use that all the time. You know, so the important thing is to know, to know how to do whatever you need to do Um, and be ready You know, I like to have some product with me if I'm meeting with someone in person because people want to get started right away. And if, you know, we had a gal that she wanted to get going on the Fit3 right away. She wanted to order it, put it on her credit card. You know what? I had it. I gave her one of my brand new actives to get started knowing that her product was going to come in a couple of days and then she just paid me back. So um, I love for people to be able to get started right away. And um, and then, then, yeah, then just continue to, you know, engage them in the things that Relive has to offer. Get those stories in front of them. You know, some people like the question, where do you want to get started? Um, I'll ask that question if people say I'm interested in the business, and then I'll use the what's your time worth, you know, and show them the different options. And I explain the value of them. You know, this this is – shows the super pack but right now you know relive's got that promotion going on where for five hundred dollars which is a fit kit you know people can get started at 25 percent and so you know maybe that's where they want to start maybe they want to get five hundred dollars worth of the other products so i love having options for people just know what the options are um i also love using that cost per serving uh, sheet that Relive has. It's in it's in your portal. Um, I love that because it shows people, well, here, if you're at 25%, this is what your cost per serving will be. If you're at 40%, this is what it will be. You know, and are you looking to save money on your products or are you looking to earn money with Relive? And then just get, you know, I kind of talk about it from that standpoint. So, and then a lot of times, as people have heard the stories, let's say they were on a webinar or in a, in a meeting of some sort, you know, and they've, they're like, well, you know, my gosh, my sister-in-law has migraine headaches and, you know, my brother's got terrible allergies. And it's like, okay, so let's start making that list, you know, and, and start going through that with them right away. And again, you're kind of going back to step one because now you're going to guide them through these steps. Let's identify people that you would have to share this with. And guess what? If they've got a list of like 20 people off the top of their head, they might as well do that master affiliate order. And um, they're going to earn the most amount of money. They're going to get their products at the best price. And Relive's got 100% guarantee. Guys, I mean, 
who who does that? <laughs> you know, so again, you know, um, at the end of a meeting, you know, we offer people these choices. And uh, I love to just ask that question. What is it that you liked? And you can say, where would you like to get started? I mean, you know, people are normally going to tell you when you ask someone, what did you like about what you saw? Or what did you like about what you heard? Um, you're going to know by their answer. And then you'll be able to go from there. If it's where would you like to get started in the business, where would you like to get started as a customer, you can do retail, we've got preferred customer, you can become a distributor, here's the options. And then you just review that with people. And I love the, um, you know, this, where, what's your time worth? This is a great decision tool, especially for a new person who might not be that familiar. And, you know, right now I love using this and where, where it shows the um, 25%. I love to be able to X through that 750 and write 500. And Relive's got a promotion going on right now. I don't know how long it's going to last, but, you know, you can get involved in that promotion. So, um, again, these are just different options and things that you can offer people. We have something to offer people. So it's not about what uh, us and what we can get, but what's going to be the best decision for them. And then you just get them registered, you know, and again, know how to do that. We have a personal website, you know, with Relive. I love that because I can, I can do everything right from that website. You know, if I want to use the slides on there, I can do that. If I'm using a uh, presentation thing, I can do that. If I'm online, we can, you know, I can have them go to the website and go through that stuff with them. So, uh, and then when they click join, it's already connected to you and it's one less step for them. And that is huge for people when it comes to being online. Anytime you can lessen the amount of times they got to click and what they've got to do, uh, the the faster and the easier you show that to people, the more they're going to want to do it too. So, and then, you know, there's follow-up, you know, we, we definitely want to follow up with people. Um, you know, I think that's really key and how you do that is going to be different. It's so different today because we have so many different means to follow up with people. You know, some people I'm texting them, you know, and I might even text them and say, hey, I've got a great friend I'm going to be doing some calls with in a little while. Do you have time today? I would love to connect you. And if I hear back, you know, no, I'm at work or I can't, we know it will call and I'll leave her story on your voicemail. And people love that. You know, um, other people are like, yeah, yeah, you know, I'd love it. You're going to find some people love getting on the phone and hearing the story. Some people don't have time. So how can you get stories in front of them? That's always my thinking is how can I do that? And, you know, with the Fit3, my goodness, we've got these before and after photos that they've been posting. And you can share that with people. Here's what you can expect. How's it going for you? You know, how can I help you? Um, we have a, a private Facebook group for anybody in, uh, on our team that gets going with the Fit3. Um, Amy Thomas, who's part of our group, she's doing a weekly um, Fit3 support call for people. And um, she records the educational part of it uh, where she might have a guest on or share about something. And then she stops the recording and people share and interact. And it's really powerful. So, you know, finding ways and finding what's going to work for people, you know, um, I think, you know, stay walking alongside of people when they get started is huge, you know, and asking people, gosh, is there anybody you know that would like to feel as good as you're feeling right now? You know, we love helping people. I know you're not interested in the business, but we always love helping others. And, you know, we would so appreciate referrals. And here's the thing, the more you are like that with them, right? And you become someone that they know, like, and trust, the more they're going to be sharing their friends and family with you. And so that's a huge thing to remember when it comes to, you know, this follow-up and registering and, and working with people. Um, you know, now, now let's say they do want to get going and they want to become a distributor and they're ready. Help them take action right away. Help them start making that list. Set up a date for them to do an in-home. Or maybe they want to do, we call them Fit3 experience parties. 
you know, and they're going to have some friends over, and you'll share about Fit3. Relive's got slides now just for that, or you can, you know, use a couple of the videos. People love videos. So the Fit3 video, both the Blue Man videos, you know, that's a great way. And then do the, do an exercise video together. Make it fun. You know, keep it simple and, and make it fun. And we've been having a lot of fun with those. Um, you know, we're, we're doing a monthly meeting up north where we live here, and um, our meeting is this coming Thursday, and we're doing a Fit3 experience. And, you know, people want to come. They want to experience it. We let them, you know, we have them taste the active, and we do a workout together, and uh, it's really a lot of fun. And then you just talk to them about what they're going to need to do to build their business. These are tools and things the company has, and I try not to overwhelm people with all of the things that are out there, but we, you know, we'll, we'll say here we've got this call on Monday and a webinar, you know, we do a live stream on Thursdays, you know, we kind of invite people in to participate with those. And when they're new, I make sure that I'm kind of always inviting them because people don't have it on their radar right away, right? And so I kind of help them stay with that and sort of review things. And of course, I want to get them registered for conference, but actually, instead of even registering them for conference, I'm going to say, hey, let's talk to as many people as we can because when you sponsor three people, you're going to get to go to conference for free. And that's a huge promotion that Relive has going on right now. And we all, I think, I hope everybody's taking advantage of that. And guess what? You know, we're ambassadors. We don't pay for conference registration. But I'm, I'm earning them because I want to give them away to new distributors. But I want to help them earn them, and then they can give them to their new distributors. And so you can see how, I mean, we're going to march into this conference, guys. It is going to be fun. And um, Tina Van Horn was here a couple weeks ago, and she talked about how much fun we're all going to have at conference. So, again, you know, um, use these promotions. These are there to help you build your business, to create excitement, to get, um, you know, to get more and more people involved. So, um, again, and, and these are just some of the tools. Um, the Relive system, you know, uh, I don't know that we have a quote unquote, this slide is really kind of outdated. They need to update it because we don't have mats anymore, but we have business leadership training, which I absolutely love. I love how Tom Pinnock has kind of revamped things. You know, we've got the, um, the, the Monday night podcast now that we can use. Um, presentations in homes, those are always you know, going to be stuff that we do. Meetings, some areas have them monthly, some have them weekly. Um, you know, the key to the whole thing is what it says right down here, these arrows. It's all about new people, right? It's all about new people and getting new people involved. There's business leadership trainings coming up later this month. Look at that list and think about who do you know? Who do you know in any of those areas? You know, Steve and I are going to Bedford, but before Bedford, we're actually flying in early to Pittsburgh, and we're going to be doing some in-homes and things in that area. So who do you know in Pittsburgh? You know, you guys have got a great one in Pleasanton with um, Ryan Montgomery, Karen Edder, Dr. Galvez is going to be there. Um, you know, that's going to be huge. But, again, who do you know? You know, who do you know in Chicago? Who do you know in Minnesota? Um, Detroit? I mean, all, look at all of those and and look at that. The other thing we like to do um, is we like to get on our dashboard, right, on, a, on Relive, and we'll do a radius search around the zip codes of all of those and see who can we invite that maybe they haven't been real plugged in, but – you know, they we can talk to them about Fit3 and get them introduced. So if you've been around Relive a while and you've got that, look at that and see who, you know, there could be somebody on your fourth or fifth level you've never met and they're 10 miles from the event in Chicago. Well, guess what? You can invite them. And, you know, people really appreciate that when you do that. Um, and, again, it's not about pushing anybody, but it's about letting them know, hey, there's going to be an event about 10 miles from you, and, you know, they're going to be talking about our new Fit3 product. There will be a training you can hang around for if you want. Uh, you know, again, it's just letting people know and keeping them informed about what's going on. Um, and so, of course, here's the date for the conference, you know, and look and see who do you know in the Schaumburg area, 
you know, um, we are so excited to have this conference here. And, you know, Relive is shared. It's going to be the last international conference for a while. You know, I think they're going to do more regional events and things. So this is going to be a big deal. And you can come for free. You know, you can obviously you pay for your airfares and stuff, but your registration, which is $200, that's a huge savings through that promotion. And then Sedona. And I love how, you know, the senior directors are going to get to go to Sedona, and they get a $1,000 bonus. So who can you help get to uh, Sedona? Or are you there yet yourself? What can you do to build your business to help you get to that senior director level? Um, who can you have in the business leadership trainings? You know, that's where it's going to start for sure is by having people um, – in these events and and connected and doing whatever you can you know we are um steve has been so diligent about going through our organization and just putting in calls to people and letting them know about the new fit three you know not everybody is as connected as you might be and so now it's about helping them get connected to what's going on now in relive and if you're new uh, again it's a great opportunity um, and even going back to people that you've already introduced Relive to. I know some of you are doing that. I know Grenza's earned a free kit, and some of you on here, you know, people are earning, they earn free kits when that promotion was going on, and that's because you're talking to people. And that's really what our business is about. It's not about having a script and getting it all right. and It's really getting out there and talking to people. And the more comfortable you are and the less forced that is, uh, the more other people are going to want to do it too. Engage your team. You know, Relive is all about teams now with the Fit3. And so it's, you know, how do you engage your team? You do that through the stories. Um, you know, you do that through getting people connected to conference and the other things that are available to them. Um, stay engaged yourself in what's going on in Relive. Know the promotions. Know the podcasts and how to share them with people. Um, set goals for yourself. Goals are huge. I think, I think it's great to have, you know, know where you want to go and then ask yourself, what am I willing to do to get there? You know, um, and help other people too. Ask them, what is it that they want and what are they willing to do to get it? You know, what, what What would it take for them to hit key director? You know, um, I don't think it's hard to identify who's going to be the next key director in your organization, but you've got people that are showing you that they're excited and wanting to build, and so that's who we focus on. You know, those are the people that we're going to, you know, gosh, what can we do? How can we do in-homes together? And, you know, whatever it is that's going to help them. Let's get on the phone. Let's let's just do whatever we need to do. And, um, and helping people get to those next levels. Because it's all about duplicating. Our business is simple. As Tom Moody said, you know, training is highly overrated. We've got these five simple steps, and we just keep doing them over and over and over again. You know, um, we're constantly identifying people to talk to. And how do we do that? You know, sometimes it's by getting out and about. Sometimes it's by doing a booth at something. Sometimes it might be by, you know, doing an ad of some sort or um, going back and revisiting our list, uh, getting out and having fun and, and building new relationships. You know, it's all about identifying people and then connecting with them. And I think that's a really big part. And I think sometimes when you've been around Relive for a while, you know, people tend to, um, they tend to kind of turn inwards and they tend to not get out and about as much. And, you know, um, and I, it's important that you keep doing that because you want to keep creating centers of influence for yourself. And as you build those relationships, the person that you're building the relationship might not be interested, but they may have someone who is. And that happens over and over and over again. And so um, I just want to really encourage you to, um, you know, to today decide on who could you talk to today. And then, as Steve said with that five-second rule, you know, if anybody's mind has popped into your, anybody's name has popped into your mind during this, 
go ahead and pick up the phone. You know, don't don't think about it. Don't overthink it because, my goodness, I, I used to do that a lot. Um, don't overthink it. Just do it. And I think you'll surprise yourself. And the more that you do of that, the more uh, that you're consistent in doing that, the smoother it's going to feel for you. The, the, more, the more courage that you exemplify in doing your business, the easier it's going to become. You know, courage is not about the absence of fear, and it's not about perfection. Courage is just about taking action. And I truly believe that anybody and everybody could do what Steve and I have done and what we're doing, um, but it's just about taking that action. And so maybe, you know, maybe you've been in a little bit of a slump, or maybe you've felt a little stymied about what to say or what to do. Well, you know what? The only way to get out of that is to take some action for yourself today. And so um, thank you so much for letting us be on here. I'm going to actually stop the recording. And then if anyone's got a question for Steve and I, we would be more than happy to answer them. So hold on a second. 